So everybody, pay very close attention to this number 23 on the bench where Nicola was last seen. The news reporter, the guy, the Asian guy, he's got a photo of that 23 this morning and he's texted his mate and said like, imagine she was found today being the 23rd day, how weird would that be? And then it's happened. Yeah. That's what I would have thought. I wouldn't have thought she'd have gone in here three weeks later turns up at my old downstream. No, They've searched it extensively, so Within. like... There's been a lot, a lot of people coming in through here, aren't there, and police and... Mm. There's been a lot of people looking. So somebody reported it, somebody called it in today, right? They they saw the body floating or whatever, so... But it would have been floating presumably all morning. It wouldn't have just popped up. At, no, right? Yeah, it would have been all morning, yeah. so... And then presumably yesterday, it would yeah. have also been somewhere. And people would have seen it. I mean, there's been hundreds of people all up and down here. So, it's definitely suspicious, in my opinion, from what, from what Weird, I think. Weird, isn't it? Because, as well, see... Like, we're from Blackpool and it is a tidal, I know, because everyone's like, well, no, it's fresh water, yeah, but it, right. it goes with the tide. After the weir, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. still all of this will be affected by the tide. Yeah. And the height of the river and stuff like that, as the tide comes in, this will go up and down and stuff, because obviously it pushes yeah. backwards and forwards. So, you know, it's like I was saying, there's cows end up on Cleveland's Beach all the time. Cows. And cows. <laughs> Cows and sheep, honestly, it's not unnormal for right. things to be washed up yeah. from the river. Okay, got you. You know, and if they can be washed up, why are they? Why is a, a person not been? It's three weeks, isn't it? It's strange how it's just mm. nothing. No, no one's seen anything. Yeah, but because he said that, and if he was telling the truth, which he's an expert, he probably was telling the truth that he believes she wasn't there, and now that she's been found in the water, less than a mile away. He'll have. He'll be like, well she wasn't in there so she's been put in that's what he might be saying now as long as that as long as he has searched that area and but he said he did didn't he well yeah. he'll have it on footage won't he because he searched the riverbed he, he? He, he sonered it down to the weir but then when, they, when he said oh the police are now looking after the weir on the tidal part of the river i'm not sure whether he was involved in that or whether he just no, let them crack on he did just let them crack on yeah because he didn't believe that she would have gone that far but she could have done but it's not it's the same depth over there. It's not far away, is it? No, no, no. You can understand if they found her right down, they missed her, because it's quite wide. So when you start getting to sh the Shard Bridge, that can get very, very shallow. Oh, can it? Um, yeah, Shard Bridge. Is that the road bridge? Yeah. Yeah, I went over there. For one. Yeah, yeah know, that can get very shallow, and it does get very shallow. Um, more beach than... But had they found her there and missed her, I could understand they missed her. It's oh, yeah, quite a wide yeah. away. But there, they, they should have found her. Yeah. It'll, it'll come out, but I don't think she's been in that water long. Well, or, or the person may have kept her in water, for all we know, mm. to make it look like, you know, you never know. But, yeah, but it's stuff that's like, being grim or anything, but stuff that like eats you and stuff like that. There's stuff in that water that will have... Yeah. They should be able to tell, shouldn't they, if she went in recently or not. So, everybody, we're going to walk from the bridge in St Michael's, which is approximately three minutes from the bench. We're going to walk from that gate that I've just come through there. And we're going to walk to the location where, unfortunately, today, uh, tragically, Nicola was found in the river. We're going to walk there just to show everybody how far it actually is away from St Michael's, the bridge and the bench. Um, it's really not far at all. I've seen some speculation already that she was found miles away downstream. Um, that's not the case at all. It's really not very far at all. So I'm probably going to speed the video up in certain parts. But basically we measured it um, on a phone app and it was three quarters of a mile from where I've just started at the gate to the location. Um, now the bench is probably about another quarter of a mile away, if that. So we're talking a mile away. Um, obviously the path follows the river the most of the time there's a couple of tight bends where the path doesn't follow the river but more or less it follows the river so if we call it a mile um and most of that is after the weir there's only a small portion from the bench to the weir um really honestly it's a very short it's like a three or four minute walk um around the bend to the weir so if we say from the weir to where she was found is pretty much a mile of water that's fairly accurate. Now, in my opinion, that's not that's not far. 
that's not far for three weeks worth and bearing in mind they've searched it extensively um, they started after the weir and they worked downstream as you know um, so in my opinion she was put in that river last night to make it look like that's what happened initially um, and what you're gonna see also on this video is where she was found there's a tree in the water there's like a tree growing on the bank and there's actually a place where like a hole in the tree where essentially you you could put something down there from the bank and it would stay there and it would look like it's just been trapped uh, coming around the bend in the water and I'm going to show you guys that when we get there okay the other thing to note here is the road this this place where she's been found is the only place along that river really where the road goes right up to the river because I drove I actually drove that road um, the first time I came up here and I drove that road to get down to the estuary to try and film the divers going in the estuary now I never managed to get to find any divers I couldn't see any at all however I drove past that exact location and as you'll see when we get there there's a very steep bank up from the road and then there's a path on the top and then it drops straight down to the water it's quite isolated there and it's very hidden due to the bank so in my opinion if let's just say if it's a big if if somebody was involved and they were to go and dump her dump Nicola in the water at a later date um, that would be probably the best place not to be seen to do it so we keep on walking everyone um, it's not far to go now when we get there as I say um, I'm going to show you where the police divers were where they found Nicola today you can clearly see they're they're trying to get into the tree area where you will see on the video um, and then I will show you after that the tree area from above uh, there's like a little hole in the tree where something or somebody could could uh, could drop something in there very easily you're also going to see a view from the road to show how isolated and, and uh, how well hidden that part of the road is and it's actually the only part of the river really where the road goes that close to it so it really is a prime location if somebody did uh, do that obviously I don't want to speculate too much but I'm sure people are already um, so another thing what you'll see on the video that I may not have time to mention when it when it pops up is on the way back to be fair it's probably not far away from where we are now on the right hand side but on the way back I came across two little old canoes in the corner of the field now it just seems a little strange how there's two canoes there they're not tied up um, there's no real farm nearby or building or anything nearby to be fair they're just there very close to the river edge uh, about a five minute walk from where Nicola was found it's just very strange um, it's very odd and convenient almost um, the police another thing that shocked me is the police have not they have not looked at that and they have not treated it in my in my eyes as suspicious yet because they haven't sealed the area off and as you'll see when we get there literally the area where Nicola was found today is completely open to the public you know if we wanted to we could go in the river right where she was and I think that's not I don't think that's correct I think the police should be looking at the whole riverbank all the way along there uh, forensically for anything that's my opinion um, and they're not and they haven't they've literally spent their time today doing the necessary uh, stuff to obviously get Nicola out and close the roads off and keep it private etc they've done a great job of that to be honest um, but I don't understand why they haven't um, scanned the nearby area for that because in my opinion if somebody has you know if it turns out on the post-mortem that she hadn't been in the water that long 
The police are going to backtrack. The police are going to be going down there, I still think somebody was involved, scanning the area. They're going to be checking CCTV of the house and the farm, yeah, which are just up the road from where she was found, for vehicles passing by late or early hours of the morning. They're going to be checking all that, but they haven't done it yet. Literally, once, uh, once everything was done today, the police vanished. The road was open again and they were not knocking on the doors they were not at the properties checking the cameras um i did a thorough look up and down they weren't doing that um and they've treated it so far according to the news reporter as unexplained now if it's unexplained that means there are possibilities still on the table and if a possibility is that she was put in that water recently the police need to have shut that whole area down, taped it off, and had forensics there checking the river bank. Now, the person who was walking with me spotted a piece of item of blue clothing ripped in that bush by the water. So I went down there and I got it, and I'll, I'll put the video up of, of what I found. Um, and, and again, it, it's probably nothing. But do you think the police even looked at it? Do you think they're one track? minded at the moment that oh she drowned we found her in the water so we told you so so they haven't even bothered to look at this piece of material maybe maybe they looked at it and thought no it, it doesn't fit in with what she's wearing that's probably the case and i hope that's the case um i've put it on the video anyway just in case um but yeah it, it doesn't look to me like like any of that was done i was actually in the opposite side of the river today when I filmed them taking her out and a lot of people may criticize that video um, the media were trying to get that video so if I hadn't have got that video I have no doubt the media would have got it um, I was just in the area at the right time I guess um, before the media turned up and before the police uh, shut it down properly the thing is I'm, I'm doing that to show everybody um, what happened and at the time I wasn't aware that it was Nicola all I could see from where I was is that the police were trying to get into the river um, so yeah anyway we're nearly there now it's taken uh, what 12 minutes so far so that works out right about a mile you can walk a mile in about 15 minutes or so um, I'm talking over most of this because it's very windy and the volume of the video had it been up at normal levels it would have been pretty annoying for you guys so that's why so anyway we're nearly there when we get there you'll see everything i've explained and i shall let you watch the rest of where we're going As you can see, the river bends round here quite tightly. Um, it's not very wide at all. And as you can see, the road is now very close to the water's edge. And as you can see further along, the river bank and the path bank uh, ride up over the, over the uh, road height. And the bush to the right-hand side also covers the road. It's a very, very well hidden place on the road. So here we are, we've arrived at the location. Um, that bush there is where she was found today. Um, the other video was filmed from opposite there. As you can see, the police are at that bush. That's just to show that that is where she was found. Um, that bush right there. And now we're gonna show you the other side of the bush and the top area that I was talking about where there's like a little hole in the top.
So here we have the road from uh, that angle there. As you can see, it bends round. Um, there's the bush, just round the bend of the river. So it's, it is plausible that she came round the corner and got, and got trapped in there as well. But there we go. Um, and there's the two little canoes that I said was a little bit uh, odd earlier. So leaving you with a beautiful view there, uh, a reminder for a beautiful person, Nicola Bully, and uh, prayers and thoughts go out to the family. Thank you.